Damn, got my leg. Hey friends, welcome back to The Garage. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed. I'm so glad you're here because I'm introducing the Harbor Freight Hercules High Torque and Ultra Torque Impact Wrenches. These are brand new tools as of August 2022. Uh, I think they're available to order online now. They might not have hit your stores yet if you're watching this as a brand new video. Excited to check these out. I'm also excited to introduce my new impact testing rig. This is an H-beam with some bolts welded to it and different nuts. I suck at welding. Man, I'll tell you what. I bet a fifth grader could do better than that. Um, this thing is not gonna be able to handle maxing these out, but I do think we can do some informative testing and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So you've got your high torque. This is a 1200 foot pound rated breakaway uh, impact wrench. Then you've got your ultra torque. I would like to refer to it as ludicrous torque. We're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> but uh, this is rated at 1400 foot pounds breakaway. I gotta be honest guys, these things look very, very similar. Um, they're very similar in length. They're basically the same, you know, girth. Um, you've got some slight differences on the vents on top, you know, here's a little bit different, this is a little bit different. You've got some different uh, injection molding on the back of the tools, but honestly, very similar. And at a glance, if this didn't have ultra torque um, screen printed on the nose, you might not even realize they're different tools. Uh, the high torque is rated at, I'm sorry, weighs six pounds. This one's 6.2 pounds. I don't think that screen printing weighs uh, 0.2 pounds. So there is some slight difference of some sort and that's without batteries on them. Speaking of batteries, I've got the brand new eight amp hour and the brand new 12 amp hour Extreme Performance Hercules batteries. These do have 12, I'm sorry, 21700 cells in them. Exciting to see Harbor Freight coming out with 21700 cell batteries to go with these new high power brushless tools. And the other thing uh, that's new for Harbor Freight is brushless, specifically brushless, Hercules tools are now gonna come with a five year warranty and a three year battery warranty on Hercules batteries. Now, I asked for clarification from Harbor Freight because they did send these to me, thank you. Um, but I asked for clarification and they said, you will need proof of purchase with the Hercules five year warranty. You know, with like a Pittsburgh hand tool, you can just take it in, they'll give you a new one, no questions asked. This you'll need proof of purchase, but if you give them your phone number at the register and you get, uh, maybe you already get receipts emailed to you, as long as that's there, then they'll be able to look you up from your phone number. Otherwise, just make sure you keep your receipt, maybe take a picture of it, um, and you'll be able to walk in and then walk out with a new tool. So pretty nice. Um, so we are gonna test these. This top bolt right here is actually a bow molly, bow malloy bolt, <laughs> not sure how to pronounce it kindly provided by Torque Test Channel. Actually, they, those guys gave it to me way back when the Flex High Torque came out. Um, so this is a very strong, sometimes it's called grade nine, but uh, much stronger than the grade eight bolts uh, that I have down here that I'll do some other testing on in other videos. But um, I am able to torque up to 750 foot pounds using the torque adapter I have. Obviously nowhere near the maximum rated of these, but hopefully it'll give us a little bit of insight into maybe the differences between these two. So. Uh, let's get outside and I'll show you how you torque a bolt to 750 foot-pounds when you don't have a fancy torque gun. Just put a five-foot iron pipe on your breaker bar. This torque adapter tops out at 738, but I think I've pushed it past that before. So here we go. All right, Ugh. we are at 715. Seven fifty. That's about as good as we're gonna get. All right, I've got the 1200 foot pound uh, high torque. Doesn't have the ultra to torque uh, screen printed here. I've got the new 12 amp hour extreme performance battery. It is fully charged and I am on mode or speed three. Uh, there's one, two, three in auto, so I'm on the highest setting, no auto. And uh, let's see how it does with 750.8 foot-pounds.
All right, so, you know, it wasn't immediate. It wasn't right away. Um, it took a couple seconds, but it didn't seem like too much of a problem. Okay, now we've got the 12 amp hour battery on the Ultra Torque. Again, we're on mode three, and we're at roughly 750 foot pounds again. Let's see how it does. Hard to tell. Um, I'll put the timers from the video at the bottom of the screen here, but uh, seemed pretty close. I mean, maybe this was a hair faster, but I, I think it was actually pretty close. Run number two on the high torque will average out three runs. That was a little weird. That took quite a while. All right, well, this is why we're doing three, so. All right, and just for the record, we are at exactly 750 on that one. We'll see if it struggles again. Huh. Well, that's why we did three runs. It'll average out. That second run wasn't a, wasn't a great one, but um, let's do one more. We'll throw the second run out if the third one goes the same way. Again, a little over that time, 7.53. All right, I guess that second one was a fluke. We'll throw it out. Okay, and run number three. All right, one more thing I wanna do. I'm gonna put it on auto, auto mode here and we will tighten this back up and see how it works on auto mode. Okay, so we're on auto mode. Here we go. Seems like it slowed down a little bit there. See now, check the RPMs if I don't have it on auto mode. And if I do have it on auto mode. So, it hits it at full speed and then it slows it down to a slower RPM rate. All right, and just for fun, I have the Rigid Octane. This is the only other high torque I own. Um, let's see how this thing does with, again, 750 foot pounds. I've got it on speed three here, and I have a six amp hour octane battery fully charged. I don't own the nine amp hour. This is the biggest one I got. Uh, maybe the three amp hour octane with the 21700 cells would do better. I don't know, but we're gonna try it with the six. Let's just see how it compares. I don't know, that's, they're all pretty close, but I think that one might've been the fastest just by a hair. All right, so we've got both on the table here. What I want to do is take the nose piece off, see if I can weigh the anvil and find out if maybe one of the anvils, maybe the anvil in the ultra torque weighs slightly more than the anvil in the high torque. Okay, what do we got here? So we got PA6GF30 plastic. All right. We have a defond, D-E-F, D-E-F-O-N-D -E -E switch here. I mean, it's a, it's a nice enough switch. It's not an Omron or anything, but it's, it's nice, it's easy to modulate. We've got a fully conformal coated circuit board down here. So that's nice. So there's the housing. Whoop. Gasket. And here, this is the anvil from the high torque. So 
We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna weigh it in just a little bit. We're gonna see if these numbers match up between the ultra torque and the high torque for the motor. You've got conformally coded connections to the circuit board on the motor controller here. You've got fully encased epoxy or whatever it is, coded connections there. I'm not an electronics designer, so, you know, maybe AVE can tear this apart sometime and give you more insight than I can. Um, so, yeah, so this is the high torque. Let's move on to the ultra torque and then we'll check the differences. Did not lose the spring that was putting tension on the battery terminals this time. <laughs> the ultra torque motor says 2900502 on it. 2900502. And the high torque says 2900502. High torque. Ultra Torque, I mean, as far as I can tell, those are the same motors. The circuit board here says JXQ1S112H. Same thing over here um, with the same design date of 723-2021. So same motors, I guess we got to check out the anvils. Okay, so here is the Ultra Torque anvil. I'm going to try not to lose the ball bearing that was in there. And here is the high torque anvil. Now let's see, did I lose a ring like this in here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So this is the ultra torque and that's got that nylon bushing or washer there. This one, I'm trying to see if this will come out now. So this one does not have a nylon bushing or washer in there. Um, it's got an integrated washer that's basically cast into the housing. This anvil from the ultra torque, or I'm sorry, the high torque has a little bit more metal on it than the one from the ultra torque. So, Again, high torque, ultra torque. So that's a little bit interesting. Um, I'm gonna get my scale, but I have a feeling the ultra torque has a lighter weight anvil than the high torque. All right, so I've got my scale here. This is the ultra torque anvil with the ball bearing in it. So that's coming in at 4.3 ounces on the ultra torque and on the high torque again the ball bearing is up in there it's coming in at 5.3 ounces so about 1.2 ounces heavier on the high torque than the ultra torque the other thing I just want to take a quick look at is the hammer mechanisms this is the hammer and spring and planetary gear mechanism uh, for the high torque, which comes in at 33.1 ounces. And the ultra torque comes in at 36.4 ounces, and it's actually a little bit wider, just a hair, but a little bit wider. So the, the hammer mechanism here and the spring and the planetary gears, that assembly is about three and change ounces more than the high torque version. All right guys, so you saw there were some slight mechanical differences between these two. Heavier hammer mechanism in the ultra torque, slightly heavier anvil in the high torque, um, actually rated at slightly higher 
beats per minute and RPMs uh, on the high torque than the ultra torque. 1700 here, 1600 there for RPMs, 2400 here, 21,500 there for beats per minute. So you're getting more torque, maybe a little less uh, rotational speed out of the ultra torque. So, you know, I think that five year warranty should give you a little bit more of a comfort level on trying these things out. Um, obviously, I was not able to test them and push them to their absolute limits. Uh, but, you know, it seems like from my testing, they're more than capable of doing the job. Only time will tell how the durability goes. Uh, so, hey, I appreciate you watching. If you found this enjoyable, please hit that like button. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more tool testing content. My name is Jim with Philly Fixed. God bless you guys. Hello, I'm Jim Davis.